on the last episode of Calibisha Chronicle, I was making the point that the free will was a major gadget used by boys, mainly and girls too, in Calibishi as a leisure sort of practice. It was like a glorified toy and during the summer we take our foot to use a local sort of balance on the free will. So I felt when I last produced episodes I was delaying on the free will because sometimes certain little aspects of your past kind of dominate your thinking especially if you're telling the story so I think the free will story was going on for a little while which is okay so I paused and I decided to end on the free will story now and to move on with the other traditions of Kalibishi so just to bring the curtains down in terms of what the free will meant to us boys at the time it was everything it was the ultimate there were well, they were distractions, but those distractions were not strong enough to penetrate our traditions. And I will speak a bit more about that moving forward. Because there are some who say that back in the day there were no distractions. Well, there the may not have been the kind of distractions that we have today. But there were distractions in my time when I was a kid, a boy. An innocent boy. Major distractions too. And I could list them by the tens and twenties. So yes, there's internet today. The internet is fine. It connects the world by the click of a mouse. But there were other distractions equally as impacting on my grandmother when she was a child on my mother when she was a child on me when I was a child and we failed to click on those distractions because of the strength of our tradition and our cultural penetration those distractions were just not powerful enough to sway us away from who we were so the free will irrespective to all the glorious fancies of the time was what kept us grounded. The free will and other things, other practices, other traditions and stuff like that. Now I may speak about the distractions of the time, but probably in time we will. I'm just saying that every society has its own nuance, its own reality. And I'm speaking about a time 30 years ago, which 30, 35 years ago, which is really not a long time, you know. Because there, there are some who believe that because they are much younger, or at least a few decades in between, that the time before them was archaic. No, it's not. There are people who are living and existing right now who share 50 years between me and them and I still don't think that's a long time ago a long time ago is a long time ago once upon a time is I we know we used to tell our stories in once upon a time time is is nothing time can be eons of years time can be a day so it doesn't matter if I'm talking about an era that spanned 35 years the fact is time is time so my time is still time even if I was born and belong to the 70s a child of the 70s that does not mean that this time is not my time I just have a different experience in this time so I'm saying all of this to mean that there were distractions in my time many 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 distractions but the strength of our culture, the strength of our, of our tradition kept us grounded. The fact that those distractions are having a better say on what happens today is because the traditions have gone. And there are those who will argue that why hold on to a tradition 
in an evolving world. Well, it is necessary that we evolve, but we also connect. So we have to learn to balance the two. And that's how I would like to end my discussion on the scooter and the other summer activities that the young people took part in. Right now, we, we have summer and we take part in other summer activities as well. And we should, but we cannot forget who we are and where we came from. And the things that we did, when we did them, and the importance of remembering them to keep in us grounded. I see Bim Bim and ugly my boys in Calibish, you know. Um, and they are relating, they are relieving the old wonderful experiences of just chilling, of old talk, via blag, and just enjoying Calibish for what Calibish should be enjoyed for. That's it on this episode of Calibish Chronicle. We'll continue to have provocative discussion on the traditions and times of our wonderful community on the next and following episodes.